Alright guys, Tom here, and welcome to a new video doing the WWE main event results for the tapings for tonight's main event, which will be live, well, not will be, I, it'll be on Ion Television, but it's been pre-recorded or taped earlier this week in Topeka, Kansas, and to be honest, it sounds like a pretty decent show. Now, to be honest, the matches do actually sound pretty good. Now, we kicked off with the Money in the Bank briefcase on top of the ring or circling above of the ring and that was pretty much there just to hype up Money in the Bank pay-per-view. Now the first match, one of three matches, was Christian versus Damien Sandow is in what described as a very good 20 minute battle. So it's nice to see that Damien Sandow is getting in a 20 minute match with Christian, a very long match which is great because he's getting a good push and getting some good TV time which is always good for Sandow because he's got that talent and he just really needs some good TV time. Now he did cut a promo before the match to get some more heat up. So that's always good as well. He can cut a really good promo. So I'll probably watch that promo actually because he does uh, do some very good jokes. Now Sano got heat on himself by cutting a promo beforehand like I said. Your typical WWE main event style match. Hopefully it's good. I mean 20 minutes is quite a long match if you can sit through that. Uh, Christian very unique in the ring. Always loved his in-ring performances. And Damien Sandow pretty good in the ring as well. So I'm actually pretty excited for that match. So Christian did actually defeat Damien Sandow if I haven't said that already. Now the next segment war angle was Zep Coulter. Promo on Sin Cara basically talking about the upcoming Independence Day for America and how Sin Cara is the next... Um, an immigrant, basically, stuff like that. Now, Jack Swagger did actually defeat Sin Cara after he cut that promo, Zeb Coulter, and Jack Swagger defeated Sin Cara in a typical Sin Cara match, very short. The crowd not really behind Sin Cara. They're never really behind Sin Cara. After many comebacks Sin Cara seems to have in his matches, and he did tap out to the Patriot Lock by Jack Swagger, the Angle Lock, if you're kind of used to Kurt Angle. Now, the next match, or the last match, was Biggie Langston defeating Kurt Hawkins. Now, Hawkins is a Apparently now got a biker gimmick, which does actually sound kind of cool. Now AJ was on commentary. I've heard her go on commentary a few times. Not really been. I don't think she's that impressive on commentary. And obviously it's not a main job or anything like that, but I've heard her on commentary a few times. I just don't think she's anything special at all. So I'll be interested to see what she has to say about Biggie Langston because she hasn't been coming out when Dolph got a match against Jinder Mahal on. Um, Raw, Dolph, Dolph Ziggler was not accompanied by AJ or Biggie Langston, so it'll be funny to see how AJ's views on Biggie Langston and whether she'll, man, uh, she'll mention Dolph Ziggler whatsoever, or they're peeling away from each other and they'll slowly write it off. But to be honest, that just actually sound kind of cool. I'm looking forward to that new change of gimmick by Kurt Hawkins because he really hasn't been on TV that recently except at Payback for the Lumberjack match. So, hello, enjoy the video, guys. Um, pretty much, Kurt Hawkins did squash to Biggie Langston. I'll be interested to see how Biggie Langston does in this match against Kurt Hawkins, a fellow NXT rookie. So, hopefully, enjoy the video, guys. Thanks for watching. Christian defeated Damian Sandow. Jack Swagger defeated Sin Cara. And Biggie Langston defeated K uh, Kurt Hawkins. This was in Topeka, Kansas. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.